In New Caledonia, France uses violent methods and tries to continue its colonial policy. Hundreds of French police reinforcements have arrived in New Caledonia amid rioting that has left five people dead in the Pacific Ocean Territory. French High Commissioner Louis Lefranc said officers had been deployed to regain control of all the areas that we have lost. The unrest erupted this week after lawmakers in Paris voted to change electoral roles to allow more French residents to vote. Indigenous leaders say the move will dilute the political influence of the native people. Hundreds of people have been injured and about 200 people have been arrested so far. Ten independence activists accused of organizing violence have been placed under house arrest. New Caledonia has a population of about 300,000 people, of whom the indigenous Kanak people make up about 40% or 112,000 people. Under the 1998 Numia Accord, France agreed to give the territory more political autonomy and to limit voting in provincial and assembly elections to those who were residents then. More than 40,000 French nationals have moved to New Caledonia since. This week, the National Assembly in Paris proposed granting voting rights to French residents who have lived in the territory for 10 years. Because this requires a change to the constitution, the measure faces further hurdles. France has accused Azerbaijan of being behind protests. This isn't a fantasy, it's a reality, said the French interior minister, Gérald Damanin, to France 24, responding to a question about whether Azerbaijan, China and Russia are interfering in the situation in New Caledonia. He also expressed regret that some of the leaders in New Caledonia who advocate for independence have made agreements with Azerbaijan. However, Baku rejects Paris's accusations of interference in the affairs of New Caledonia. In response, Azerbaijani Ministry of Foreign Affairs spokesperson Aikan Hadizada said, We completely reject yet another claim by the Minister of the Interior of France, Gérard Damanin against Azerbaijan and on alleged relations between Azerbaijan and New Caledonia's independence leaders in his interview with France 2. Moreover, instead of accusing Azerbaijan of allegedly supporting pro-independence protests in New Caledonia, the Minister of the Interior of France should focus on his country's failed policy towards the overseas territories that led to such protests. The Baku Initiative Group and 14 political movements fighting for independence in France's recent colonies including Kanaki, Maui Nui, French Guiana, Martinique, Guadeloupe and Corsica, have issued a joint statement expressing support for New Caledonia. The statement reads, We, as the representatives of organizations from the last French colonies, Kanaki, Maui Nui, Guiana, Martinique, Guadeloupe and Corsica, along with the Baku Initiative Group, condemn the French authorities' forceful amendments in favor of expanding the electorate which supporting Kanaki New Caledonia until its independence is an obligation under international law and supporting documents of international organizations, particularly UN Resolution 1514, concerning the right of peoples to self-determination. Therefore, all current demonstrations of the people of Kanaki and supporters of independence are legitimate. We call on France to stop its neo-colonial policy and ensure the people of Kanaki freedom to determine its own destiny. We also call on the international community not to turn a blind eye to this disgraceful neo-colonial practice that leads to the marginalization of the people of Kanaki. We call on the UN member states to raise the alarm with the UN Security Council so this esteemed institution can convene and condemn France's gross violation of international law. The statement says, the volcano Concepcion erupted in Omtip Island in Nicaragua on May 17 at around 1400 hours local time. Following the eruption, small residual tremors associated with the explosion took place. The communities near the volcano were affected by gases and ash. The magnitude of the eruption was categorized as low to medium. The volcano eruption prompted the authorities to activate an alarm system on Omtip Island. According to the Nicaraguan Institute of Territorial Studies INITER, the eruption of Concepcion does not imply greater danger in the island. The footage of the Omtip Island shared on social media shows towering smoke rising into the sky. Concepcion is 1,610 m tall and rests on a 1 km thick base of quaternary lacustrine mudstones. It is considered a pristine volcano because there has been no influence of other volcanoes on its growth. 
¿La bonita? Sí, ya. Ahora que te digo...